This video is the first in a series of how to deal with broom sedge, which its Latin name is Andropogon virginicus. Um, I'll see if I can snag a photo of it and drop it in here so you can see the type that we have. Um, but I wanted to find a very uh, simple way to eradicate it without having to do uh, a complex, uh, manual, labor-intensive, or in um, herbicide uh, method, because I don't want to use that on my soil. So I'm going to walk you through what I'm doing as an experiment. I picked the section of our field that has the worst uh, infestation, and we bought this farm two years ago and inherited it as it is and this was already established so the brown gold color that you see is um, broom sedge left over from last year when I cut the second cut of hay um, so I'm doing an experiment and in this experiment I tilled a swath right in the middle of the worst infestation of broom sedge that we have and um, for this half of it that's uh, out to about right there. I just tilled it. That was it. I didn't replant anything. And then going up a little bit further, about halfway, I just top seeded some oats. Um, and the reason I seeded oats is because I had the seed already and I do like it as a um, forage for cattle. So I will harvest these oats um, just when I cut hay and I'm gonna try to catch it in the milk to dough stage before it starts developing that, that um, dried seed head. So, um, so basically the idea of this was uh, just till the ground and then plant a cover crop and see what happens. So this is the first in what will be at least two videos. There, there may be more. Um, I'll let you see the results of this. Now, when I planted the oats, I just top seeded them. I didn't rake them under, till them under or anything. And you can see that we've had a bird here, which I'm going to guess may have been a turkey. Um, we do have a hen that routinely lays eggs in uh, this pasture and the adjoining, or this hayfield and the adjoining hayfield. So some of the seed has been lost to scavengers, of course. Um, but that's the nutshell on the experiment. I will post update videos and I will label this video broom sedge eradication number one and then the next one will be room broom sedge eradication number two um so whatever's in this title um when i post it if you just search for that you should be able to find it i'll also create a playlist once i've made that second video so i'll keep you guys posted on how this turns out i have done some research on it and uh what my local um Ag Center recommended was that I needed lime. Um, I'm not a generational farmer, and to me, honestly, that just is, didn't scientifically make sense. So I did a bunch of research on it, and I have found that there is absolutely no statistical evidence that's conclusive that says adding lime will help eradicate this. Um, now, the theory goes that adding lime helps your long-term fertilization efforts. And then as the pH of your soil changes, your other plants grow better and they essentially choke out the broom sedge, which likes uh, crappy soil. So for me, um, I like to run my own experiments on things and, and not just go by what I'm told. An example is I was told I couldn't run a round baler on my 4701 Kubota. Well, I looked at the specs on some old round balers and matched them with the spec of my tractor. Man, I've bailed, uh, what, 150 some bales in the last year and a half off of that round baler. 
um, that people said I couldn't run with my tractor. So I don't really just follow what I'm told. I, I try to do, do my own research and figure stuff out as I go. So this will either work or it'll fail, but all I'm gonna lose is a little bit of time. Um, and if I come up with a solution, um, what I would probably do is literally till this whole pasture um, and then I would reseed it with uh, a good hay. Um, and so that's the experiment. And another thing I might do is try tilling in the heat of the summer, which would stress the plants even more. So this will be the spring tilling experiment, overseeded, not seeded, and um, we'll go from there. So thanks for watching. Also, one thing I forgot to mention, if you have figured out a way to deal with broom sedge on your farm, um, be it conventional or unconventional, please share it in the comments below. I would love to hear what other people have done and um, figured out that works. Thanks.